ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching uh, right now we are in the traffic control truck and we're going to go scout out a job uh, we've got a customer that has a Taikuchi skid steer stuck in a freshwater spring apparently so we're gonna scout it out before we send out any equipment uh, so we got a better idea of what's going on here and what kind of ground conditions and all that so anyway we're going to go on a scouting mission and then hopefully uh, devise a plan to get that rascal out of there here we go Pretty good ways down here. The problem's getting around these dead gum trees. <laughs> That's real wet right there. <laughs> Is it? Somebody's been trying to dig it out, haven't they? I think that was just the dirt he was moving. Oh, he was moving that? I walked around this way. Yeah, I'm just trying to get different angles here. Well, she's down good. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So you might be able to get that guy if you needed to go from that direction, but you're going to take out the fence and everything else. Right. Hmm. Pretty good ways up there. If it wasn't for all the trees in the way, it wouldn't be quite so bad. Is this uh, your all's equipment, or did he buy it? He, he bought it. He yeah. bought it. Okay. It's his. We get in there for the insurance to figure out what's wrong with it. And yeah, especially if it's <laughs> been underwater. Yeah, floorboard's still full of water. Yeah. Fuse paint on all that is. Jeez. Okay. Well, that eliminates the possibility of the rotator getting down here to lift it out. Which would be <clears throat> awesome, but that ain't gonna happen. Okay. Whenever we get there and he can tell you what to pull out on those finals. Okay. <coughs> Just trying to spitball the distance there. <coughs> well, probably load uh I'll probably load up an extra coil of cable just to be safe since we'll have to have a rollback anyway. Right. Might as well throw it on the bed. <laughs> the good news is I think the bucket loader's up a little bit so the bucket's not going to be dragging. Good. <coughs> now I need to see if, how difficult it's going to be to get the my truck in and out of here. Right. Okay, so we've done our scouting mission getting dark off in the uh, northwest with uh, rain moving in we're trying to beat the rain don't know if we're going to make it but uh, Mike and I are going Mike is taking the Ford rollback and I'm in the rotator I think we've got a plan figured out uh, let's go get this thing out of here before it gets uh, any deeper okay I'm gonna talk Mike through this we're gonna break out our new ear tech headsets I'm gonna have to have Mike guide me in here Yeah. 
come in on that uh, on the other side of that uh, mailbox and I can't get off in these other people's yards. Uh -huh. strap and then we'll both walk that down together. Or Mike's just going to take off and do it himself. Well, we got to watch too and make sure that we don't unspool it too. Yep, it's getting heavier, but thankfully it's downhill. All right, right here about this creek, let's stop for a second. Let me make sure, I'll need to run back up and make sure we got enough. You wanna yep. set that, uh, wrap it around a couple of times so we can keep it pretty short. That might that might be okay. That might be okay. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. We'll just do it that way, and then the snatch block will go in those two loops right there, and that may actually work to our advantage. Uh, that may help it pull it this way so that we don't have to redirect off of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We may be better off that way. All right, I'm going to set this uh, camera up on this little machine. Don't let me forget to turn it on. <laughs> what? Uh oh. Hey, can't you where I'm looking? Or where I'm walking? Yeah. Man, man. I don't have this turned on yet, but... Yeah. All right, let me go back up and see... Uh, when's this thing going back to our place? Yeah, uh, it's going to Luby. Luby? Yep. All right, here's our anchor points. Uh, there's... We'll have to get... A chain or two chains, probably two would be better to V it out. Or we get one long 20 footer. Uh, no, I take that back. This thing weighs 10k. Yeah, we, we better we better put two on it. And boom's not quite straight with the line yet. This is kind of like a workout. Especially going back up the hill. I can't see the drum. 
Hold on, let me get to where I can see the drum. Okay, can you pull it out on your own? You got one and a half layers. Down to the first layer. All right, slow down. How much further you got? Oh. Okay, stop for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight wraps on it right now. So we can't go much further. Not gonna make it. Well, that's not gonna do us. Oh, you're going Ah, darn it. We need more than that. Shoot. Dang it, I don't wanna to have to drag that other cable out. Yeah, I know it, real close. But that won't work because we need the cable to come through the snatch block. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Even if I brought the truck over another 10 foot, that wouldn't be enough. Okay, well, take the snatch block loose. We're gonna, we don't have any choice. We're gonna have to use the other cable. I don't like it, but we're gonna have to. Darn it, darn it, darn it. And here comes the rain. Like I said, we've only got eight wraps on the drum. And by the time I take up the tension in it, it'll be past our pulley, even if we were able to get it past it. One, two, three, four. We got eight or nine wraps, but it's still not enough for what we gotta do. Darn it. Wonder, hold on Mike. Yeah, rather than uh, running that, I wonder if we could put a uh, snat or uh, a shackle and a master link and run chain, heavy chain through that master link rather than the uh, pulley. Yeah, instead of the snatch block, use a master link. Uh, it'd be worth a shot, wouldn't it? That way we can get the, we might even be able to use straps through that master link uh, to work easier than the chain would. Yep, let, let's, well, on the master link, I don't think it will. Let, let's try that. It's a whole lot easier than, uh, yep. All right, so, no, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out the rigging we need so we don't have to make so many trips up and down. Um, I need another 20 footer. And then we'll need the chains to hook into the machine. I wonder how many of those 20 foot straps we'll need. How, how far off are we, do you think? By the time we get our chains in there, we'll use the 20 foot chains. Uh, got it. All right, then I'll have to have something to link them. We may have to, we may just have to do this in stages, you know. Pull it until we get uh, one section out.
Yes, sir. I've got I've got camera down there. I've got a camera on my helmet, and I've got one on the machine. That way, if insurance has any questions, we got her covered. Yes, sir. Uh, we need the chains to hook up to the machine. I got I got the straps, the shackles, and the uh, master link. Doesn't matter. Probably the ten footers would be fine. Don't you think? Uh, I go go with the light blue. I wouldn't worry about the. Uh, uh, yeah, don't go with five eighths. We don't need the, those heavy five eighths. I did, I noticed that. I don't know. But the yeah, the top is a little bit different. And then the day that I or well that night that we had to go pick that uh ram up out of the uh creek, I had tried it earlier that day and that light was bad. The the old one. So good thing I had the new one. Yeah, I got the shackles, the master link, and the uh, straps. So I just need the chains down here, I hope. Uh, let's see. Alright. Yeah, if you want to get those, I hope those uh, I hope those hooks go through there. If not, we may have to use these uh, shackles. Earring shackles, I'm not sure. We shall see here in shortly. Ah, oh, darn it. Yep, you'll need, I guess, two shackles then to connect the chain. Well, good lord. We need a skid steer to grab all of our uh, rigging. Grab us a total of three screw pin shackles because we'll need one to attach the chains. Well, it would be better if we had one to attach the chains to the strap, but if if not, it's okay. Yeah, if not, it's okay. We'll we'll manage. I'm liking these headsets. Darn it. You know what's not down here? The remote. Well, we're not done rigging yet either though. So. But I'll need to be down here with the remote so I can watch this. Or I may have to have you be my eyes on, I'm not sure. All right. Yeah, I just, uh, this mode part over here, we can't get over in that. That's neighbor's property. Yeah. Here. yeah, there you go. You got it.
Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to get muddy, so ain't, ain't no way around it. Might as well dive off and get this done. Go all out, huh? I just like muddle with my face. <laughs> I didn't know I had it on my hand. <laughs> All right. There we go with that. Oh! Yeah, if my, my leg's got that much suction in it, that machine's going to be even worse. Down on tree limbs. I don't even know where that one came from. That's the one that's been after me. That's one that's after me. I'm going to walk through here. Okay. Uh, this is it? Yeah. Or oh, we can tie it back into the... Tie them back together. Okay. You know, you can run this one. Here, show you. Take that and just... Here, just take that hook. Right there. And then you got both chains together. You see what I'm doing there? Or we can shorten it up some too, it doesn't matter. We we'll, can get it pulled up. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, let me go get the remote. Hopefully this will work out. Oh, yeah. And it'll pull it out at an angle this way and we may not have to redirect off of here. Yeah, we still might. Well, oh, dead gummit. Almost a prat fall. All right. The hardest part of the rigging is done, so now we'll let the truck do the work. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. All right, I'm going to stay up here and uh, not on the machine. The one in the woods is turned on. If you want to turn the one on the machine on, just hit the little button on the top. Yep. And you should hear it go beep, beep, beep. Alright. I heard it beep, beep, beep. Man, I can hear that from all the way up here. Lock in the white winch. Let me, hold on, let me make sure I still got five wraps because I pulled a little more on it. Yeah, I'm good, I got six. By the time it takes to slack out, we'll have eight or nine on there. All right. And it might. Let me get boomed up first so that... Alright, I'm on high speed retrieve for now. Oop, I said I was. Now I am. We'll get everything tensioned up and then come down and check the rigging. To use a shorter strap on that uh, main tree. Okay, I'll let off. Will a 10 footer go around it? Or do we need. That's 20 there. What do we need? You tell me. Which one are you talking about, bud? Well, if you can do that, if you can double it over, you, I don't have, I don't have to bring you one. Right, but still, if you double it around, you won't need me to bring you one. Okay, I gave you some slack.
Okay, still got plenty of wraps on the drum. Don't work. Is it like? Needs a 12 footer, then don't it? 12 or I just ah, shoot. Okay, here. What I can do is I can bring an 8 foot down and some shackles. Just leave that one where it's at. I'll just bring an 8 footer and we'll double it back with some shackles rather than fighting with it. That's already partially rigged. <sighs> We're going to get wet one way or the other, ain't we? That's all right. We'll get her. We'll get it. I don't want to get that tree too much. No winter, winter chicken dinner. Yeah. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. Alright, so did you pull out the extras that I gave you? Okay. I didn't know how much extra we needed to get to that. There you go, because if I can afford to double this over, mm -hmm. make, it short make it shorter, yeah. That way we stay away from that other tree. Oop, that needs to go there. Uh, and this needs to go around here. Come on, Rain, hold off just a little bit longer, please. Then, then you can go ahead and hook your rigging back in. There you go. There we go. So right, yep, right like that. Tightening up behind you. Hold on, Mike. Here, let's let's twist this uh, wrap around a little bit because it's going to dig into this tree. The metal is. Yeah. I don't want. Yeah. Wow, that's not working. The strap needs to come around this way. I'll pull. You give me slack there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. Alright, come on, baby. Come on. That's better. All right, as much as I would really love to see this machine come up out of here, Mike, I think I need to be up top so that I can watch the truck, make sure we don't come off the slides or damage his house in any way. Okay. You watch my rigging down here for me, please. Okay. And obviously when we get up to that uh, clevis, we'll have to stop if it comes out, which I, I think she'll walk out of there. I need to be a little straighter with it, don't I? There we go. All right. You'll have to be my eyes and ears. And I'm gonna put it back down on slow retrieve. And I may just do a couple of small little test pulls and let it break the suction.
like I said, I want to make sure the truck doesn't go anywhere. All right, engage. Tell me when we're snug. Okay, are you safe? Is it moving? My truck is uh, starting to teeter. I'm either going to have to raise the boom. Raising my boom so it's putting a little more pressure on it. I'm just going nice and easy with boom up. Just slow. Well, it's got to break that suction from that mud. That's why I said I'm just taking it real small. All right, now I got the boom up. I'm gonna winch in a little bit. Okay, yeah, because my truck started scooting on me there. I had to stop with the winch. I'm just doing small, slow little pulls. Is it, it's moving? Okay. All right. I just don't want this truck to roll back into their house. That's one of those things where you don't want to just run full throttle. It raises the truck up and then as the machine comes back, it settles down. Cadillac, can you say? Oh, I see it moving. I see it. Oh, yeah, we got her now. The suction broke. We got her. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're in good shape now. Well, let it walk with that clevis just a little bit. That way we can uh, run run the uh, strap through and grab a hold of it with the winch. You understand where I'm going there? Let it walk uh, walk the strap around that tree just a little bit. Yep. Stop. Okay, got it. Okay, we got her. All right, I'm booming down. That should give you some slack. It's up out of there. Should we go ahead and uh, remove the finals on it? Or wait until it gets up a little bit further? Okay. All right. Yeah, no kidding. Ah, come on. Now just take that one section of uh, uh, endless loop out and grab the hook into the other section of endless loop, the one that's still attached to the machine. That's why I wanted it to walk through there in, or walk around it enough so that we could reach that other endless loop sling. Exactly. Exactly. That way we could reach the other strap. I'm pulling or I'm pulling slack down here on the cable tell me when
Gotta be getting close. Okay. You, I thought you had it just in. Oh, man. I got you. All right, you good? Now we're good, okay. Oh, good, that bucket's up off the ground, too. how well this works. Oh, that's working beautifully. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. That's giving us a perfect angle right in between those two trees. We're still going to have to redirect up here though, I think, mm -hmm. and get a little bit further up. Unfortunately, but yeah, like you said, we can get her out of the mud and then we can pull the finals out of it and it'll roll. Right now it's just scooting right across the top of the mud. Which may be all it ever does all the way up there. I don't know. Yeah, it may not ever roll. It may not roll, yeah. Alright, that's it. That's all we got there. So, yeah, we're going to have to redirect off this other one. Now, do I go up and free spool it? Oh, my goodness. I think as much as we're going to have to redirect, I better. Don't you? Alright. I'm going to leave my uh, remote up here by the tripod camera. That way it's out of the way. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll go put the winches on free spool and drag some more out so we can reroute. At least she's out of that suction pit. She was sucking down pretty hard too, because that I can't believe it uh, moved that this big truck like that. Of course, I'm on a downhill slope though too, which doesn't help me at all. Off there on the free spot. Well, we're just right on the edge of the not having enough cable. I don't know, we may have to do that same trick again. Wrapping around the tree.
cows are watching us and talking to us or telling us telling us how to do it. You gotta be kidding me. They caught a root. Or, yeah, just a limb, but buried in here in the trash pile. All right. Yeah, to pull the finals. Okay, I'll be working on the re rig. Hopefully I can get by with an eight footer here. And no, no it won't. It's close, but I can use the 20 doubled and it'll be a 10 footer. And it should work. I don't think we're going to need the strap, do you? It's going to be close. I'll have to get the, I'll get the snatch block in there first and we'll see. It's going to be close. Some of the rigging here by the tree. Oh, 
hopefully I got enough cable we can reach right down to the chain. Gonna be close. So close. So close. If I can pull the slack out of it, I'm... <sighs> Darn it. Oh well. So, so close. Get a hammer to knock it loose? Yeah. Okay. And we'll do, on the way up, we'll just throw our rigging in the bucket. I don't know. Haven't looked yet. That's a good question, though. Okay, I'm rigged in. I'll put some tension on it that way when you get the final out. Oh. Also, I can check the line, make sure. Ah, oh, darn it. Do I have to reroute it? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, I forgot about this, forgot. Let me roll the carriage backwards. Maybe I won't have to, especially if we get the finals out of it. Not hitting, gonna get close to the house, Emma. Okay. All right, now let me see what that looks like. May still have to go around that tree. Yep, darn it. Well, I could lengthen the strap. I can lengthen the strap and it'll change the angle on it rather than having to redo all that. I got several straps, but what I wanted to do, I really wanted that angle on that machine, because otherwise it's going to pull it over this way. Eh, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. I guess I'm gonna have to answer my text message. See who it is. Alright. You got it re rigged on the tree. Let me see if, what that does. I may be able to run my boom back up now, too. Now that I changed that angle. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute.
That got us away from the tree. Okay, I'm snug. I'm not going to pull, though, that way. She's not going anywhere. what does that bu bucket look like and I don't think we're gonna be putting our rigging in the bucket yeah, that's pretty nasty mighty fine hole she left down here huh yeah. all right there's the hole where she was there's a dead machine up out of the hole. The gentleman said he wanted pictures for insurance and all that, so. He said it was gonna stink. Now it's leaking down. I gotta get something to catch what I can. I didn't think about covering the tank. I think I mentioned something about grabbing a bucket to put the final drives in, didn't I? I did, and you you didn't grab one, neither did I. So, yeah, I did too. We got busy and uh, started trying to. Okay. Shouldn't be much in these anyway. Yep. Yeah, it's a long way up there, ain't it? <laughs> With as much as is packed up underneath these tracks, I don't, I got my doubts whether they're going to roll. That's what Luby wanted to, wanted us to try to do though. They want us to try to remove the finals. Which I understand that. If they do roll, it won't tear the man's yard up near as bad either. Okay, Mike's on his way back. I'm narrating. Oh, dang it. Oh, I bet it's 4.30 and that's Lee in. Oh, you bet. Yep. Hello. Do what? Okay, all right. Thanks. Yep. I'm about to lose it. Got it? All right, there you go. Now, we can use that just to slide the finals into. He said that should just walk right out of there, according to their diagram, unless it's under pressure. I'm sure it's under pressure. Here, tap on it a little bit. Said that whole assembly should just pop out of there. Yeah, I bet it's under pressure. Uh, yeah, I would guess it is. <laughs> okay, coming back down. 
You know what we should have done with this? We should have made us a zip line. <laughs> okay, which side did you get loose? Put this other camera back up since I got new battery in it. Uh oh, just like everything else, it's wet. Come on, baby. All right, I'm not gonna turn it on until you get the finals out. Yep. pressure on the winch it's just hopefully by taking that other side loose this one will free up That's the side that's freewheeling. <laughs> oh, darn it. Wonder if we winch on it a little bit. Well, I was wondering about that too. Alright, watch yourself. It's not going to turn tracks, it's just spinning in the mud. Yep, oh, there we go, there we go. All right. All right, I'm just holding steady. That's what should have came out on the other side. It all didn't come out on the other side. That all didn't come it out? It didn't come out with it. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Just, okay, so the center gear didn't come out. All right. No, see, it just came out just right here. Okay. That's yep. what I was wondering whenever I... Was looking at it if that had to come out too. I don't think it'll matter. As long as that. As long as the outer gears aren't there, yeah. they don't. They can't turn. That center gear will turn and won't hurt anything. As long as that center gear stays where it ought to oh, be. It won't, yeah, it won't go nowhere. It yeah, it can't. It'll only hit that and yeah. it'll stop. It won't come very far before it hits that. Yep. It won't come out far enough to fall out. Right. We're on the uphill slide now, as they say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's downhill slide, ain't it? I'll be happy to get it on the other side of that little uh, washout. Yeah. Once we get it on the other side of that washout, we'll have her home free. Yeah, that's the, the main. Just getting through these trees. I just put a couple in it to hold the oil in and dirt out.
unless you want to run them all in. That way. I was afraid it would come out the hole. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not yeah. sure. And that way we ain't got to keep up with them. Yep. True. Very true. Yeah, hey, I was afraid. I didn't know if it coming out the holes or not, like a, like a big truck. Actually. Right. It could. It very well could. Didn't even think about that. Smart thinking there, Mike. Nice little machine. All right. Yeah, drop drop your planetaries in the bucket and seal that up. That way we don't get any dirt in them. Yep. All right, and I'll start or continue continue with the recovery. All right, you clear? Yep. All right. Here we go. And all that work and the tracks aren't rolling. And we're gonna run into that doggone tree right there, aren't we? Okay, so here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to take this over here. I wonder that little tree I know that little tree wouldn't do it but I wonder now shoot dag nab it all right help me pull something out here come on baby come on come on come on okay we can take it so that we're just pulling on this side okay. so that it pivots it around yeah which one am I looking for there we go all right yeah let's see if that brings this side around enough Well, it's not perfect, but if it gets it to where it needs to be. As of right now, it's better than this. It is the slide that's going to get there. It's on the downhill slide. Oh, dang it. We need camera. Oh, they wanted camera from different angles. Oh, for insurance. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. There we go. Alright. Are we okay on this tree? Still. So far. It's tight. Okay. So watch that chain so we don't get it wrapped up under our... Yep. Go for it. It's gonna be tight, ain't it? I'm afraid that bucket's gonna get caught on it. I hope it don't. Come on, baby, come on. Walk around. There, now this track's starting to roll. And the bucket's gonna get caught right there. If I continue to pull anymore. Have a large, get one of our big oak blocks. Put that oak block in here. You know what I'm saying? That way it'll walk it right around. Yep. I uh, hope. Hope. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to have to get it around this tree, and then we'll take that loose. Yeah, then we'll take that loose, and it'll go right through there. Me hopes. The only other option is to redirect off of another tree and pull the bucket that way. They don't want to have to do...
one of the four by sixes, preferably. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just loading up rigging. That's all I'm doing. <sighs> well, I'd like to have a good place to put the rigging, but... Nice little cubby for now, as long as I don't forget it. Midwest truck. Yes, hello, Midwest truck. Okay. Uh, sir, the office is closed. I'm actually out on a job site. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Oh man, you did get the big boy. I just meant the the four by six should have been more than sufficient. Okay, all right. Mike says for the camera that would that one was easier access. That zip line would have been real good if we had a tree strong enough we could hang it and just uh, carry the skid steer up like they do on logging just skid them up that would be you ringing not me all right just in between there yep right in between there you don't pinch yourself now all right i'm gonna snug up on it yep. oh i said it was or smoke loss sink okay ready don't get yourself pinched okay Let's stand back. Oh, Dag nabbit. Ain't gonna go now. Hold on, hold on. Let gra let gravity let gravity do its thing here. Let the pressure off. Let it roll back a little bit. See if it'll fit down in the top of there now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Almost. Did you bring your bring your hammer? <laughs> Come on, baby. You almost got it. I'm not gonna pull. There you go. Would well, be really nice if it was long ways in there, though. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh. Now, hopefully, that block will walk it right around. Yep, I hope that's the. Now, that would be my phone. Yep, that worked. Oh, look at that. That did exactly what I wanted it to. Yeah, sorry, folks. Y'all gonna have to wait a minute. We are at a critical transition phase here. Watch your hand so that block doesn't. Yep. Now, when the block falls out, this may come back over. We may have to try to feed the block back in a little bit. Eh, it'll be all right. We're good now. Yeah, We're good now. If it, if it does touch any, it'll just be barely. Okay, now, 
Now we can take that down and we can re-rig and walk right up through here. We'll just take off of this tree and go straight to our chains. If we didn't roll over the top of that one. Nope, we didn't. We're good. Good deal. Here, you can throw the block up on the on the machine. That's what I did with the rest of the rigging. Or put it in put it in front of the tracks. That way it doesn't slide. Oh, when I let the oh, slide back down. yeah, right now we still got gravity going against us, and we got to re-rig. Good. Okay. Come on, baby. We'll have to go around those two smaller trees and straight straight to the machine. Which by the time we take that bend out of there, that should should have enough right there. Mm -hmm. Alright. Take it loose from this. Might as well leave the snatch block on the line, huh? Yeah. Let it carry it up. Alright. Can you get it? Or are we getting hung up on stuff again? Now we can take that strap out and go straight to the chains. That's what my plan is anyway. Yeah, that's a lot of work, in it? Yep. Okay, all the clevises and master link are all on this uh, left slash what we would consider a driver's side. And you got straps hanging over the bucket. Okay, that should be all of our rigging. It don't matter. And, and, nah, until we get up there close, it's not really going to matter. We just need to make sure they're equal. We could, uh, actually at this point, we could probably take one out. That's in the same spot. I'll be in. You want to take one out? Or? I was going to say we could, but it'll be all right. We, we got plenty of room now. Here, that's all right. Let's just okay. He's fine. Yeah, let's just tie them together like we did a while ago. Okay. We got. Wasn't sure. Want to get a little... that or we can. Here we can do it this way. That way we've got equal distance chains. We'll get her close and go from there. Well, you got it. Yeah, pretty doggone close. There we go. I We're say, yeah, we surely don't want this one to be much longer. No, huh? Nope, nope, nope. So we have to whip it on around. All right, here we go.
Surely it won't roll. Huh? I don't think. I don't think it's going to roll in the front side here. That's pretty steep there. It might roll on that side over there, though. Oh, you mean roll over? Yeah. <laughs> roll over is what I mean. from this one. I was wondering about that. Yep. So we can get around that little tree and straighten it out so it hits that slope a little better. That's good, just as long as we can try to get it lined out a little better, a little straighter with this ditch. Come on, you. There we go. That feels better. We're not hitting that ditch at such of an angle that way. Here we go! <laughs> she went down! Okay, I think we're going to have to stop and uh, hook both chains up. Alright, I'm going to grab the wood block before we run off and forget it. That was interesting, huh? Yeah. Oh. I'm thinking that that center piece of keeping out on there to turn it. What's that? Oh, it may be. You got both lines hooked in? Or do you need need more sl Okay, all right. Yeah, I need to move the camera anyway. Oh my goodness. Need more slack? All right. Got it? All right. Hopefully we'll be ready here for the long pull. Do we need to take that inner gear out? I wonder if it's just hung up on that stuff though. I mean, I don't know. Right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let pressure off and I'm gonna roll the boom forward that way. Yep. Okay. Uh. Hello. Yo. No, we're we're we got it out of the hole. Now we're uh, weaving it through the trees. It's okay. Yep, she's uh, she's she's coming our way. No, we we got her. We got her. Tough, tough part's over now. We got it out of the hole and got it weaved between the big trees. Now it's down in that second gully before uh, before it comes up the big hill. Once we get 
we're still trying to get this one final drive on the uh, driver's side loose. The passenger side, or the right side's loose and it's uh, free rolling. Uh, it may just be that it's got some mud in it too. I don't know. The tracks are so full of mud that it's not rolling. Not sure. But anyhow, we're on the, we're on the winning side. Thank you. All right, bye. Do what? Yeah, don't drop any of those little bitty screws. Well, the heads up got mud on them. Maybe, maybe coming over. Yeah, maybe coming over this ridge. It'll free that up now. Yeah, I bet you. Can see it goes through both sets. Yep. All right, come on, baby. Thank you, man. Dang it. This ain't one I just hooked up. What happened to my mast? My master rigger. That's right. I redid it, didn't I? That's my fault. I redid it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. I'll take that. All right, behind you. Amazing how this looks pretty tight, doesn't it? Uh huh. You look at it. Looks pretty rough. Looks pretty sharp. Well, they said that they don't have much trouble with these finals on these uh, Takuchis. Yeah, she's rolling now. Let's try. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go watch my truck a little bit. Yeah, I so. There's a uh, block that uh, big wood block is in the bucket. Okay. I hope it doesn't knock it out. We are on the win inside now. There we go. Free rolling. It's that'll help me unload it when I get there. <laughs> well, yeah. That was, that was the main thing I was thinking about. I ain't worried about you dragging it up this hill. It's me getting it off the pullback. Right. Yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna have to help you unload it anyway. If it comes off like that, that guy. Out on the it should roll itself on down. Yes. Should. Right. Right. Well, hopefully on this uh, hillside, it'll walk some of that out of there. Oh, it walked a whole bunch out. Between that and the uh, gravel that it's going to hit on here. What is that crunching though? Rocks? Rocks and yeah. Yep, it's rocks, ain't it? Yep, I can see them. Creek rock. Yep. Down yep. Go down. About four pieces of <laughs> four pieces of it. And there's all our rigging. Uh cool. our, our hard rigging and our soft rigging's up here. Cool. I'm pretty sure I got everything, but yeah, it wouldn't hurt to take another look. Well, if I can get it in the right position, you may not even have to get off the pavement. You can just lower the deck off that, uh, off the edge of the pavement. I hope that's what we can do. Well, I may have to, uh, I may have to let go of it. 
you may have to go out and then me get in front of you. Yep, yep. What a job. There's one that made you think. Yeah, this hill, yeah. I know I ain't supposed to put a side pull on it. If we have to, I can run it down off that outrigger. But with it free rolling like that, it shouldn't yeah, take much. Shouldn't, yeah. Cool. It took us a little while, but we won. Trying to work around all the trees was the biggest problem. But we won. That's all that matters. I bet you've done a lot worse. Oh yeah. Alright, Mike, you tell me where you want her. Well, do you is it okay if I bring it up and put it on the pavement? Are you sure? Okay. Alright, I don't wanna I don't want to tear up your concrete. Oh, you get a little mud on it. Okay. All right. Are you sure? Because if I do that, he can back up and just. Be a lot safer for him. Yep. Where's our, uh, oh, that is kind of what the inside of it. Do what, sir? I just want to look inside. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. I'm going to pull that just get the board on my truck. Yep. I didn't look today. Was there quite a bit of water down there today yet? There was still some in the cab. Yes, sir. There was still some in the floor. Oh, you're welcome. Glad we could help. Appreciate it. You guys have a good evening. You too, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, Mike, I'm going to get my rigging out of here while you're doing that. Oh, my goodness. You know, with these headsets, I can hear you humming, right? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness <laughs> all right i'm gonna let a little pressure off of this and see if my well i'm gonna i'm hoping that my wheel chocks hold it and they are holding i'm still gonna keep it keep the boom on it for now we get the rest of the rigging put up
That was a fine job, sir. Can. I'm just I've got all the uh, hard rigging I'm just working on the slings now and they are wet and muddy so we're gonna have to wash them off you got a uh, you got spot on the deck or no nah, that's all right I'll just I'll just throw them in the bin it'd be all right they got to be washed anyway and inspected I know one of them was one of them, one of them was shot anyway but I grabbed it for a, a tree wrap it was one we had in the shop that had been uh, pulled out of service for anything other than a tree wrap. But yeah, if you think you can squeeze in here beside me, I can... Well, I can let it go. Uh, give me just... Well, the... Well, I mean, I can get, I can let go and uh, I can leave the shackles in there. Well, you won't need those, will you? You can just J-hook it. Yeah, since it's rolling freely, you can just J-hook it. All right, I'm gonna let go of it then. And then I'll raise my outrigger, spin the boom around so you can come back. worry about the rigging on it in just a minute let me get it spun around so you can come back yeah your beeper works good Oh yeah, you're plenty far back. I'm, fra I'm afraid your winch cable is going to get in the way of your winch, though. Okay. I mean, if I need to, I can pick it and carry it. If it's going to be in the way, I can carry it on my hooks. We can sling it. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Whatever you think. Stow the boom at eight degrees. Eight, there we go. Hey, bud. Oh, wow. Somebody tighten that one. Good. You say that Ron guy? Ron got that one. Huh? Yeah. I did this one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, some people say you're supposed to back it off a quarter turn. Other people say no, you're supposed yeah, to leave it I tight. Snug it down, now back it up a little bit, and now just run down like that. I usually snug it down and back it off a, a, just a little bit. Yeah. I know people have told me you're not supposed to do that. I don't. I have to. I've seen it done both ways. Oh. 
Come on, door. Almost like we planned that out, huh? Grab tool that my friend Dick made for me. Ugh. This came from the other side, didn't it? Did it? Well, doggies. No, I didn't. Yeah, right where the lights were. Yeah, that's where it's gonna go back. There we go. Now I gotta have a place to put all these dirty uh, straps. Yep. All right. Oh, watch your watch your angle. That's an awfully shallow angle. Beer angle. Especially on this heavy machine. Yeah, this is a strap that's out of service. I'm just gonna throw this one up with that winch line. They don't need to be used again, ever. I don't think I can crank my outriggers in though. I got this here real heavy drink holding it down. Yep. Hey, Mike. Here's what was going crunch, crunch, crunch. They're making boulders into uh, gravel. Yep. Here. Let's follow this. Yeah. Let's, let's follow these. Follow it up with those blocks. So if something should break loose. Okay, clear. Oh no. Gonna have to double her back. Be washed. Right. Outriggers up. You need a, a better block? I've got one. Okay. Oh man. 
and I put those uh, straps right where my uh, uh, wheel chocks go. Do what? I do that a lot. I talk to myself. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> That's the problem. You can hear me too. there that steel one will you can just keep those on the truck for now until we get her till we get her unloaded put one in front and one in the back that way it helps stabilize it okay I'm gonna put my uh, pads up and then I'm gonna wash this man's driveway off yeah yeah I don't want to leave his driveway like that. Uh oh. You had to pull the ladder out, didn't you? Uh oh. Yep, that's what I thought. I'm sure it is. No, you're working against gravity there. There you go. Get her, pull her forward first. Do what? finish up here go unload and hopefully go home all right ladies and gentlemen there's some machine dropped off at the dealership they've got her washed up and getting ready to work on it and check it all out um, our job is finished nobody was injured I uh, don't know the state of the machine getting ready to find out though but as always thank you for watching and God bless.